to address these complexities that you see here and to deliver on our vision of a complete product development system, PTC acquired MKS, the leader in embedded software development and management. To explain a little bit more about the product and the need for this product, I'd like to welcome up on stage Andrew Workin, the CTO of MKS. Andrew? Hey, Brian. How are you? Good. So, Andrew, many in the audience might uh, recognize you. This is not your first time with PTC. PTC acquired one of your previous companies as That's well. True. That now forms the basis of our uh, former Insight product, now called Winchell Product Analytics. But you left BTC about a year ago to join MKS. T tell, the, tell us and the audience here a little bit about what you saw in that industry segment that excited you. Sure. It's just a product manufacturers, our customers, are using software to innovate in their products. Software is becoming a more and more, in part, a more important part of that product, and not just for things like user interfaces or control systems, but product manufacturers are using software to do things like design products where defects can be addressed via software, or generating um, product line engineering strategies around software, so hardware platforms can be tuned for specific markets or specific needs just via software, and, and really reducing the cost of the product manufacturing process. So uh, the customers I've been talking about, I've been hearing about the importance of this coordination of the software development process and the hardware development process. Each of those is a complicated process in and of itself, developing software or hardware, but where the real complexity comes is in integrating those together. Are you hearing those same kinds of things? Yeah, for sure, and our customers are really starting to take a systems engineering type approach where they're taking requirements, they're elaborating those requirements, they're reusing architectures, they're finding um, design elements, but tracing those all the way through through test and verification and validation um, and across hardware and software together and making sure they have the release readiness. They know what's going on in their engineering departments and when they can release. Software is very unique. Software, you can continue to address those defects even after production starts, even after tooling's been committed to or inventory's been committed to. So managing that process, that accelerated velocity of change on the software side along with the hardware development schedules and platforms is complex, and a systems engineering approach really drives um, capabilities in order to, to model, reuse artifacts, and at the end of the day, continue to innovate and hit schedules. Yeah, that, uh, that topic of systems engineering comes up in seemingly every customer conversation I'm having. So Absolutely. our new integrity product line, you know, our newest uh, family brand here, is, is widely deployed around the globe. A lot of companies are already trusting their software development on the Integrity platform. So tell us a little bit more about that platform, why, why it's special, why is it unique? Right. Integrity is, a, is, a, is an architecture that allows for the entire software engineering process from requirements down through uh, modeling and functional requirements and into code and software configuration management, uh, back up through test and test execution, and change management around the entire process, defect management, change management. And that also means integrating with the appropriate engineering tools in that ecosystem, whether it's IDEs like Eclipse or Visual Studio, but also very importantly, the, the applications from companies like the MathWorks, whether it's MATLAB or Simulink or Sparks or MagicDraw, the, the applications that engineers are using to participate in software and systems engineering and then, of course, integrating with the enterprise system. So at the end of the day, you don't have software engineering off in a different department, in a different room, not connected to the enterprise. We must have visibility of that data across the enterprise so we know where we are in our processes, so we know we can meet process compliance um, around our engineering processes, especially when, when they're safety critical. Um, and, uh, and so in integrity, in our platform, in our solutions, we have that rich domain capability, but also the ability to communicate nicely out with that engineering ecosystem as well as the enterprise. That's great. Andrew, thanks very much. Welcome back to PTC. Thank you very much. Thank you.